Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. I do not understand. And I would honestly like some of y'all to help me to understand. Been online. I see all the chaos the rioting in the streets, the destruction, the attacks on the people, and all that over in France and Germany and all the foreign countries. Sweden ain't nothing like it used to be. And all this is because of the Muslim refugees. They keep telling us how they are a religion of peace. What, when they get their way? When you finally cower down and cow to their ways? And yet our government keeps insisting to bring these people over here. Dearborn, Michigan. For the last few years, they have a Muslim uh, holiday weekend. And if you go there as a non-Muslim, you are literally attacked in the United States. And the police run you off. They throw bottles and all kinds of stuff at you. You're the one that's in the wrong and you're in trouble. Wow. I was just reading an article where it cost us at a minimum from the start $20,000 per refugee that Obama wants to bring over here. They get money, food stamps, housing, medical. They get it all. Yet I can't afford insurance. I don't get no medical. Our veterans can't even get what's due them because they're veterans. And we have a VA system. But the VA system's broke. They claim they're broke uh, uh, financially and the system don't work. But we can't put none of this money into any of our infrastructure as in taking care of our veterans, taking care of our seniors. We pay into Social Security Yet the government keeps robbing it and wants to cut back on them, on our elderly that's drawn Social Security, just so that they can rob the money to bring in more refugees that are going to create rioting and hassles. And yes, they're already doing that here. We have over nine terrorist training camps in the United States. The FBI acknowledges it. They're called no-go zones. They can't go in there and arrest them and deport them. Why? Last I checked, this was still America. And I don't care if some American Muslim did buy that and is contributing to that. Look what they did in Waco. Oh, David and his people caught hell. They died. But yet these Muslims live on. I don't understand it. The only thing that's even harder to understand are the Americans over here that are pretending like, oh, that ain't so. That can't be so. I don't understand how you dislike Muslims. How can you not want them over here? They're such good people. What the hell? Don't y'all watch any news? Is the Clinton News Network all you ever watch? You're spoon-fed to all that nonsense? Do you ever watch anything other than CNN? These refugees are destroying Europe. Literally. Why their countries keep allowing it, I don't understand. It's got to be part of that one world order nonsense. I don't understand it. Well, that was my little rant. 
I read some of that stuff and it's like I, I just don't understand America. I don't understand I don't understand our people. I, I, I don't understand our government. And those are a couple words that I hate hearing because I don't understand. And yet here I am using them. Because what? I don't understand. It is crazy. Well, I've come upon the conclusion that I'd rather vote for a loose cannon like Trump and hope that he really tries to do some of the stuff that he says than to vote for a murderer like Hillary that wants to bring in more of these Muslims. Can't vote for that Johnson. I don't think he's got the backbone. And that character that he voted for a, or that he, he chose for a running mate, from what I'm seeing, he's about anti-gun as you can get. We don't need that right now. We don't need to fight any harder for our guns to protect ourselves than we have to right now. Alright folks, end of rant. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Somebody help me understand this mess. <laughs>